Yeah, not only at the end. Uh, the whole game was good. It was good, a difficult game, but we all saw in the in the situations when when Bournemouth um, could play, could use their speed, could use their 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 good offensive organization, and um, in all the other moments we we played a really a really really good game. It was counter pressing wise the best for a while. Uh, it was outstanding, which is for us always a sign for a really good game. Good moment to get it back. Um, offensively, it was um, creative. It was with power, with speed, um, offering runs, even if you don't get the ball. Um, yeah, be a bit um, wild offensively, force them um, in difficult situations and and use it then and um, so all the goals were brilliant and um, so it was just a, a, a really really good game and a very deserved three points. Rob, yeah, that's we we are very self-critical. So it was clear that we are not happy with the two performances. There were always reasons for it for us. We cannot use. Um, or cannot speak too much about it in public because it always sounds like excuse you that we go for excuses. We are not. We we but we have an analyze must be sensible. You have to talk about the right things and uh, with the boys and um, we did that. We, we we knew about our situation and we knew that we were not happy with our performance um, in the last two or three games, if you want. And um, still, you can win a game or you draw it because of different reasons. But um, we want to. We don't want to come through somehow in a game. You know, for like here a little bit and they hit the crossbar or whatever. We want to play convincing football. We want to perform. That's how it is. And it was, of course, that that was the reaction we wanted to show today for us. And um, the boys did that in an outstanding manner. So I'm really happy. John? Yeah, given, given that you're looking Yeah, um, absolutely. So that was really, really, really important. Uh, pretty much everything. But it's, it's. You have to. We have to learn a lot, and we have to adapt to a lot of situations. It's not about that we. That it's a big problem. You have that you have three, five, or seven points uh, that you are in the lead. That's really not. A, that's a, not a big thing. It's. It, we, but we have to learn. So for, I'm 51. For me, it's not a problem to have my own opinion. So that's how it is, and um, and of course, and I'm not in social media. I don't read a lot and stuff like that. But of course, it's difficult if all everybody's um, talking about the boys in a in a in a special kind. I would say so. That's it. But for us, it's only important what what we what we think um, and what we can make better and what we have to improve. And that's it. And that was a very good sign today. So we wanted we wanted to show. Today a reaction, yeah, really, and that was obvious. And um, how I said, we had we had difficulties before the West Ham game in our situation with um, um, Hando out, Ginny out, blah blah blah. Millie was not in the team order because he was ill, but he played. Then we didn't perform that well, and people were talking about him. Now um, last night, uh, Ginny was not in the team hotel because he had um, pretty much everything. But you don't want to have in a night before, two nights before a game, and um, <coughs> and then. Um, that's uh, the news you get in the morning of uh, <laughs> before the last session of the week, and then um, then he said, okay, but now I had after another couple of hours sleep, I feel now really good, so I think I can play. And then the doctor said, but you are still infected, so stay away. So I was only concerned today when we when he scored a goal and everybody gave him a hug. To be honest, uh, <laughs> um, so that that was. Um, yeah, that problem. So, and playing a game then like this that shows us. That I, I said it a few times, and it's always difficult to talk about that, but because people think then why he has to mention it. But these players, the character and the mentality of these boys is the only reason why we are where we are. The only reason. In moments when you don't get a result, and people doubt that immediately, and that's not. It's the world, predictable, but still not true. And um, so. That's why we can use always the character, character and the attitude of the boys. But that's what we did today, combined with their outstanding football skills. We can win football games, and we will win football games. How many? We will see, but we will try everything. Neil, 
Oh, it's the same like what you say about Millie's character. So only nobody spoke about it. I heard that um, some people really uh, were very critical about Millie's performance last week, which is just a joke, um, to be honest. Uh, after all the fantastic games he played, and now Ginny today, now it was obvious that he was all very, very good today. And then you think um, that's that's the. That's how the boys are. So that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Hendo trained twice. The, what the medical department said to him in the once in the first session you train with seventy percent and the next one with eighty five. Try to do that. Means not making a one hundred percent sprint because and so on, and then still no no all fine I can I do um, if that's why we didn't bring him today because he couldn't really train. Trent trained twice after four weeks out. It was good that we could bring him, could see immediately what a fantastic player it is, uh, he is. So today was again a day where we could, where the boys uh, were in a shape where they could really show um, that we can still play a little bit of football. And so I'm, I'm really happy for them. Uh, Steve, any final one, Steve? And the performance was, yeah, the record is really good, but the performance was brilliant. He was pretty much undefendable. It was, um, it was played an outstanding game, but um, it's just, uh, yeah, exactly with the, 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 the football he is able to play and what we want him to play. That's how it is. So very, very um, involved in all the things, not only in the scoring situ in the scoring moments, in the build up situations as well. Sometimes dropping a bit, not even not really deep, but in the half spaces, then be stay wide and all that stuff. Um, and that's the that's exactly how he has to play and he did it in a in an outside manner. But the but the goal he scored I, again I don't think you find a lot of players um who do what Bobby's doing in that moment. And most of them try to shoot and got get blocked, and he's doing that little, <laughs> little, little pass. Um, and um, then Mo is obviously a pretty cool finisher. Final question, Glenn. Uh, a lot was made about the crowd at the last home game, but today we How can you compare a crowd when you play 1-1 against Leicester with 3-0 against Bournemouth? That's just not fair. What do we expect that they that they go completely mad in a 1-1 on, on, a, on, a, on, a on a snowy pitch where the game is not uh, fantastic football? Where they don't go, well, it's not going up and down. It's it's like it's the, where the, the, all the circumstances are more for the, the the team with lesser with lesser possession. So that's not that's just not fair. So we never spoke about that. It was we are one hundred percent sure about and and convinced about our support supporters. They are outstanding. They are the other reason why we are where we are. Uh, the home record is like it is. But if we don't, if we would have would have to play in a stadium where it's pretty silent, you cannot play that football. They are all on their toes. They are all really. They know about the job and they do it. And um, I'm. Really proud of um, the, the whole performance today. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Welcome.